Whew. There's the man of the hour. Look, how you doing, coach? I'm all right. Been thinking a lot about Khalil Wall. Okay. He's the best rim protector I've seen all year. Oh, you ain't got to worry about that. I already cut my eyes on that kid. Yeah, but we need you to stay aggressive and draw defenders into the paint. But you're walking a fine line with these guys because they do a great job of disguising where the help's coming from. Okay. All right? If you make the wrong reads with a guy as good as Khalil Wall, we're going home empty-handed. Simple as that. Hey, look, that's fair enough. So what are we working on? Are we working on finishing? Well, I or... need you to get to the rack and draw the defense in. So we're going to work on that in advance finishing. Need you to make plays in this one, MP. This is why I came to this program, Coach. I'm going to live up to the expectation to take away this jersey. I got you. I'm here for you, Coach. Okay? Great! All right, let's get out there. Let's get working. Hey, 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 right here. Keep it going. This is it, the national semifinals on 2K Sports. I'm Forrest Hunt here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. What an exciting day for college basketball. And tonight it'll be the Yukon Huskies going up against the UCLA Bruins. This is when all eyes in the country are on you. And with a star like MP, Yukon has a player who can definitely rise to the challenge and get them to the title game. And what's your read on the Bruins, Greg? Well, you look at their defense, and it's anchored by perhaps the best shot blocker in the last five years in Khalil Wall. This team knows they can be more aggressive outside with a guy like Wall waiting to kind of clean up anyone's mistakes. And that strategy has served them well all season. And things are starting to heat up in these final rounds. Let's see who's got what it takes to win it all. And looking at Khalil Wall, the freshman has been an impact player. Incredible shot blocking ability. He can change a game with his defense alone. Now here's MP. Inside. Porter. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Boy, how about the ball movement from MP right there? Scouts love seeing that type of unselfishness. And Wall, one of the bigger names in college basketball. The big man is a delight to watch. And it's rare to see someone so adept at shot blocking as Wall. He has the length and size, but also great timing and looking light on his feet. How about that cloth soft touch? I mean, just a gentle little teardrop, almost like a falling leaf. A leaf falling down slowly to the ground. Very sweet and colorful, too. Down low. Here's Porter. And Wall with the block. I think that's why he's the best at this level. You need to bring more than that to get a shot over Khalil Wall. A nice shot by Carter. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Side Scott and P. 
to the inside. The lead pass was put just in the right spot to produce the layup. And great ball movement by MP. Nice job getting his teammates involved. As a program, UConn's got a proud history when they make it this far in the tournament. For the five times they've reached the national semis, they've gone on to win the title four times. Outside, Smith. MP, wall covering. MP outside. It's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. The track record of the Huskies in big tournament games is incredible. Only one loss in their history after the regionals. The ability to come through on the biggest stage in college hoops is a hallmark of this school. And being calm under the lights seems to be a rite of passage for this program. And he gets it back. The Huskies trail. Outside, Smith. To the middle. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. And that's how you read the floor offensively. Smith seems to always know what's going on. Wall. The shot, no good. Now UConn takes it the other way. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. Now here's MP. Porter defended by Sheldon. MP outside. Pass to Porter. Good. And the assist goes to MP. And for MP and his team, this is the second one seed they'll have seen in the tournament. About as tough a road as any. As you said, a daunting path for them. But they've answered the call every step of the way. That's another one seed standing between them and a trip to the finals. Back to Scott. MP. To the paint. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws coming for him. It's going to be on Kelly. And something this team's run has shown, just how important it is for a team to peak at the right time. You know, we've seen it happen a number of times in the last decade. A school comes in hot and makes a deep run. It doesn't matter what your seed is if you play like this group has. And that one misses. And we've seen some great Cinderella stories. This run by an eight seed has to be up there with them. Not the lowest seed to ever make it this far, but it is rare company. Good on the second free throw. And UCLA has never had much trouble with recruiting, but lately they've been elite. The new coaching staff has really brought back the family atmosphere here in Westwood. And the player development has been astonishing. These guys are put in a position to succeed. Inside. Pass to Martin. MP with the block. MP staying engaged, locked in on defense. That's something the pro scouts are always looking for. Leo Adams. Substitution for UConn. Six to shoot. Here's McGee. Can't hit that one. Webb with some nice D. UConn in the lead. Now here's MP. Outside, Smith. Back to MP. To the inside. It's stolen by Peterson. Here comes the break. Here's Bell. And unable to get the go-ahead bucket. To the middle. And MP throws it down. That's an aggressive throwdown from MP. Nice to see that intensity from a college player. Well outside. Here's Martin. And the shot no good, a bit short. And for a team with so many banners hanging from the rafters, it's amazing to think that UCLA hasn't won a title since 1995. Now here's MP. He's got six. Down low, Thompson. Yes, count it. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run, passing it with purpose. The D hasn't been able to keep up. 
pass to Martin. Shoots over Scott. That one off the back iron and out. And 95 was the only Bruins team to win a national championship without the Wizard of Westwood at the helm. That year's coaching staff did a tremendous job. And who can forget that legendary second round win? That game when he shot still one of the more famous plays ever. And that one is good. MP. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Martin, guarded by Smith. Adams in the post. MP's there. And yep, that's good. You know, I think anytime the shot comes from that range, the offense has done its job and done it well. Now here's Scott. He's covered by Bell. Outside Scott. And he lobs it up. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And you look at the history of college basketball. There may not be a more impressive feat than UCLA's 88-game win streak. Outside, Smith. Inside, here's MP. To the inside, Adams with the steal. Bell with it, now Scott defending. And it's Bell missing. And you think about how that streak ended. The Irishman coming back from 11 points down with three and a half minutes remaining. Yeah, UCLA was trying for its third undefeated season in a row. Also lost to the Wolfpack in that year's Final Four. But then the next year, resilient, they recaptured their title. Timeout called the Bruins. And they just can't see to get going offensively. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are... And so here's UConn, six-point lead. Pass to MP. Smith. Back to MP. And that comes off the assist by Smith. And the last time the Bruins made it to the semifinals was in 2021. And that was a great underdog run for the school. Back to Bell. Pass to Kelly. Now Bell. Wall. Clock at six. And it's UConn with the rebound. And the Bruins in 2021, an 11th seed. One of the best sports stories of the year. He took a last second shot from Jalen Suggs and Gonzaga to knock UCLA out. Still, a special team for a school full of historic runs. Here's Wall. And the basket is good. A big shot that time. Check out Khalil Wall with some versatile offense. Showing he can knock down the mid-range shot. Outside Scott. Macy. Pass to MP. To the middle. Porter. And the shot goes down. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. And way to get there first and willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Back to Bell. Pass to Adams from 13. That's good. And Bell with the assist. 
Look at Bell's unselfishness, and I tell you, that would easily translate to the next level. He takes a lot of pride in setting up his teammates. And it's MP missing. Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. To the paint. Shots good by Wall. And a good use of length by Wall inside, getting past the contact and into his shot. And the Huskies call time here. Here's Smith, looking for his first basket still in this one. MP covered by Adams. MP outside, comes in left side. Kicks it out to MP. Back to Thompson. Knocked away. The Bruins trailing. Bell outside. Team Bell, Adams, nailed for three point land. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Outside, Smith. Pass to Webb. And P, covered by Adams. And P, outside. Outside for Smith. Takes the three. Hits it from three point range. Smith. Right back at you. How about that instant Go! response from Smith? Whatever the opponent does, Smith wants to do more. Now here's Carter. Kelly with it. Pass to Carter. Back to Kelly. And here's Carter. Shoots a three. And the Bruins hit again from deep. The back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. Didn't take him long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. Here's Smith laid in with a nice touch off the glass. So calm against contact. I appreciate Smith's willingness to battle for his buckets. Here's Wall. Sweet little floater. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Side web, inside, and the dunk by MP. MP. And here's Wall. 16 points for him. The second chance effort misses the layup. UConn leading. Pass to Smith. It's hauled in by Bell. And here's UCLA. Carter up top, guarded by Smith. Wall with it. He's against Thompson. And the shot goes in. Oh, nice focus that time from the big cup. Wall able to take the contact and work right through it. Now a timeout called by UConn. Coming on to the floor for the one minute. Now into the lineup for a UCLA substitution for UConn. Outside Macy. Two MP. Minutes. Pass to Porter. And Wall with the block. Jones outside. Good aggressive play there from Wall. When his team needs a bucket, this guy gets serious and delivers. To the middle. MP outside. Macy on the wing. Scott. MP outside. Pass to Porter. And so he earns a trip to the line. The official saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Good on the first, and that brings them within two here. Good on both. Here's Wall. He's 
shoots again. It's hauled in by MP. And they're in position to take the lead. And how big would a bucket be at this stage of the game? They get it back. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Well, that's not a great matchup, guys. He forced it against outstanding defense. Ball for three. The shot off that time. UConn with the ball. Here's Porter. Yes! Two points. Lost point. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Yeah, it sure has been. I mean, all you have to do is look at the numbers. There's no line in those totals. Now a timeout called by UCLA. Here's Wall. Bell guarded by Scott. Here's Wall. UCLA again missing. And he commits UCLA the intentional foul. foul. Owen Sheldon. That's his second personal foul. And Ooh, that's an intentional foul. Michael Bell. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Huskies. A yes. nice job nailing the first Two of the one and one, so he'll now have a second chance. And so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. Absolutely massive free throw. That'll force them into a three-pointer. Timeout called the Bruins. to Carter back to Bell Galea Wall for three it's rebounded by UConn and so they'll choose to intentionally foul yeah you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those five seconds away no you got a foul I mean it's going to come down to free throws here foul right away he hits the first one and that gives them a four point cushion Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Kelly, guarded by Macy. UCLA again, missing. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Huskies, Art Scott. He drops the first one, and he can gather himself now and try to make it two. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a seven-point game. And they get it off the mark and the yukon huskies will move on that's the end of the national championship is within reach now they are one win away from racing the trophy what a moment in these young men's lives and perhaps a great memory in store and mp did just enough to put them over the top tonight but in the title game he's gonna have to be better nothing but his best game gives them a chance to win it all and that'll do it for us tonight. For myself, Forrest Hunt, and my partners, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. We'll see you back here for the championship game.